Hello. Hmm. Welcome to our relaxing mechanic shop where everything here is 100% stress free. Yeah, it is true. Some people don't even have anything wrong with their cars and they just like to stop by. Yeah. Yeah. Is it your first time here? Okay. Great. First time. So we do have a coupon for that today. Um, let's go ahead and get into checking out your car. We do have that set up right above here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's quite unique. That's why a lot of people like to come here also, because they get to watch the work being done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you are having issues with the car? Yeah. And so, what, what type of sounds is your car making? Okay. So like a, a or a more like a Okay, okay, I see. So definitely more of like a You know what, that actually helps a lot, so... Yeah, usually with the diagnosis process, so... Thank you for that. Okay. Excellent. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin trying to diagnose your issues here. Okay, look here. Now, the first thing that I'm noticing is this belt. If you'll direct your attention, that belt right there, it is um, very worn down. Okay. Um, now, I don't think that this belt is the cause the achacha sound, but um, this is gonna cause some issues, so I would highly, highly recommend that you get this replaced sooner rather than later. I'm gonna go ahead and check and see, see if we have any spare ones here at the shop. And we should, but let me check inventory. Um, what year is this again? Okay. okay, so we do have a couple of these. All right. Um, well, this is the accessory belt, so um, it can cause issues with your air conditioning, with your power steering. That's just a couple of the problems that you could be facing um, with this. Mm -hmm. You have noticed that, yeah, when you're turning, kind of tight. Yeah. So if we get that replaced, it should fix all of those issues. We can go ahead and tally up at the end. Okay. 
When did you buy this car? So you did get it off of Craigslist? Okay. Well, the only reason that I ask is because you have these wires here that are connected with electrical tape. So usually you want the wires to not be connected by electrical tape. You want them to be fully connected. Yeah. Okay. So, so here you can see that they are barely, just barely hanging on. And so you may notice sometimes that your car will overheat because these are the wires that make the fan in the front go. Do you drive on the highway a lot? Yeah, uh, driving on the highway is going to bring lots of airflow into the car, so that's gonna cool it down. So that might be why you're not seeing all that much um, overheating which is really good because you don't want your car to overheat. Doesn't sound right. Maybe I'll just loosen that. Sometimes you gotta loosen it to tighten it. So that should fix that issue. All right. Now, I see over here as well uh, that your bumper has been reattached to the car via zip ties, but I, I don't really think that's a big uh, concern for you. Um, so let's go ahead and still try to locate the sound where that's coming from. So, sometimes, sometimes, you know, I have a hunch. Okay, hold on. This was stuck in your tailpipe. I hope everything is okay with the bubbles, is it? Okay. Did you want to keep that? Okay, I'll just keep it. Um, let's see. Looks like you also have a few rusted bolts. I, yeah. Will rust, uh, it's just gonna eat away. And there's a little bit of a battery acid that's been leaking onto some of the metal there, so it's a little bit corroded. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that corrosion right off. It should be fine. Okay.
really, you just want to go and some people think you want to go fast uh, to be quite rough with it, but really, you want to take your time, okay? You don't want to take off more than you need to so, it's quite important that we're always taking our time and putting love into the work that we do. Yeah. Okay. You see that? Mm-hmm. It looks way better, doesn't it? Oh yeah, baby. It's looking significantly better. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna check one more thing. I think that we were able to resolve the issue with the sound of your vehicle, so that should be resolved, honestly. Uh, it does seem that you have quite a bit of other issues. I noticed that when you pulled in that your brake light was not working and I can also see that there are a few nails sticking out of the front left tire. Um, you also want to get that fixed. Uh, there are quite a bit of issues with this vehicle, so look. I am going to reduce the cost of labor because honestly, you just seem like you can't get a break. So, I'm gonna go ahead and help you out, okay? You, you need a reliable car, okay? And this isn't it, but I can make it reliable. I do. Alrighty, so if you look over here on the screen, you will see the things that we will be charging you for. Parts. Um, one of the parts, unfortunately, we don't have in stock, but we will be having it in stock in days. Now I know it is quite a hassle to drive back, um, so if you'd like, I can drive out to your home, but honestly, with an ambiance like this, I'm sure you're gonna love to come back. I said I'm sure you're gonna love to come back. Okay, alrighty. So we have that priced out. And with a very good cut on labor, you can see the percentage that we dropped it down. Um, is this something that's doable for you? Good. Good. I'm very happy to hear. Um, so if you'd like, while I get working, you are more than welcome to read a magazine. Better homes. Yeah. This one is from seven years ago, but you might find that it's still quite relevant. But if not, you are more than welcome you continue watching me work? Okay. Let me go ahead and get your card information. Okay. Good. 
into time to get comfortable. This is not my lucky one. if I'm working and you happen to fall 